When a Chicago-based manufacturer of professional mechanics tools filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, the leaders at Sycamore's Ideal Industries saw an opportunity to acquire the assets of the company and revive a venerable manufacturer with a 90-year history of brand excellence. Ideal is a manufacturer of electrical tools, has been for a lot of years. We recently, over the last couple of years, bought two other tool companies, Western Forge and Pratt Reed, but they're predominantly private label suppliers. So what SK brought to the table for us was a national brand we could instantly build upon outside of the electrical industry. We thought we could, with our management, we could bring some of the lean manufacturing techniques here to SK Hand Tool, make it a more efficient organization, make it competitive not only here with other U.S. manufacturers, but those other global companies. The challenge, quickly construct a new 130,000 square foot state-of-the-art manufacturing facility and be ready to meet orders for SK Tool products within eight months. When we built this building, we built it from the ground up in three months. People said it couldn't be done. You saw not one contractor working one day after another. They were basically on top of each other. But it was important out of the gate that when we built this structure that we, you know, obviously some of the, some of the equipment, such as the extruders, that are dependent on being on those big pads, we're putting the right location to make it as efficient as possible. So having that layout in the, in the beginning was, was important. The Ideal Industries team, along with manufacturing improvement specialists from IMEC and Versatech, developed a plan to optimize production in the new SK Tool facility before beginning construction. It was important from a, a number of standpoints. One, uh, planning how much capacity we needed, how much new equipment we would need to replace old processes. Uh, what type of headcount we would need to support the equipment at the, at the volumes we anticipated having, and what process we were going to use to do our production planning, if you will. We implemented a Kanban system, which is a pull system, and essentially how that works is as goods are consumed from our warehouse and shipped to customers, signals are sent back to the beginning of the process or to our vendors, and they replenish that inventory. So that keeps us in sync with what customers are buying, avoids a, building inventory or buying inventory that they don't want makes keeps us replenishing that inventory that they are buying. IMEC mapped the value stream of the existing SK operations and deployed a creative approach for machine placement and layout in the new building. So we spent about a week with um, a team of people uh, from Ideal to simulate their manufacturing operation. We literally laid uh, layouts of the cells along the walls of a very large room and created post-it notes that represented containers of product. And we marched those containers through by paying attention to time. The time it took to get through a machine, to get through a cell. What does it take to get through there? How quickly could we get product through there? More importantly, could those products meet customer demand and finished goods? Here at the new SK, we've arranged everything in work cells. So, equip, so a product goes from one machine to the next machine in almost a one-piece flow. SK Tool leaders credited the IMEC team for their hands-on approach and innovative solutions to get the facility operational. As a result, SK was able to meet its production goals, retain the loyalty of current customers, create new jobs, and make a significant impact on Sycamore and the surrounding region. Sometimes in the past I've dealt with consulting services that come and tell you what you, want to do, what you need to do, but sometimes you already knew that, you just didn't have the resources to get it done. IMAC both helped with that expertise side of the equation, but also helped with the actual manpower to implement the improvements in the facility.